welcome the topic is change of order of integration let me explain the concept of change of order of integration by using an example consider a double integral that is integral 0 to a integral mx to lx v dy dx this is a double integral now we have to change this order of integration before passing on to the change of order of integration let us see the given order of integration let us see the given order of integration here mx and lx are limits since x limits cannot be expressed in terms of x this nmx is a y limit therefore y equal to mx and y equal to lx these two are nothing but y limits therefore the remaining 0 to a this is nothing but x limits that is x equal to 0 x equal to a now let us see the given order of integration the given order of integration is first you have to integrate with respect to y then you have to integrate with respect to x because x limits are in terms of constants therefore we have to integrate with respect to x lastly therefore first we have to integrate with respect to y this is the given order of integration the order of integration can be identified by using the limits only not by the order of this dy and dx it may be either dx or dy here the order of integration is first you have to integrate with respect to y then you have to integrate with respect to x now i am going to change the order of integration that is first i am going to integrate with respect to x then with respect to y so the procedure for changing the order of integration is you have to express the limits that is you have to change the limits here the limits x limits are in terms of constants and y limits are in terms of x now i am going to change the y limits as constants and x limits as function of y this is the main procedure for changing the order of integration let me explain the concept through an example the first step is you have to draw the region of integration for that you have to draw the lines y equal to mx y equal to lx x equal to 0 and x equal to a we know that x equal to 0 is nothing but our y axis x equal to a is a straight line parallel to y axis y equal to mx this is nothing but a straight line whose slope is m we know that the general equation of the straight line is y equal to mx plus c what is m m is nothing but the slope c is nothing but the y intercept here c value equal to 0 therefore y equal to mx is a straight line similarly y equal to lx is also a straight line whose slope is l here m and l are two different values the first step is by using these four limits you have to draw the region of integration you have to identify the region of integration that is the first step now i am going to draw the line y equal to mx when you put x equal to 0 y equal to 0 similarly when you put x equal to 1 y equal to 1 m it is 1 comma m when you put x equal to 2 y equal to 2 m that is 2 comma 2 m similarly for the line y equal to lx we can find the points by substituting x equal to 0 x equal to 1 x equal to 2 when x equal to 0 the first point is 0 comma 0 when x equal to 1 the first point is 1 comma l 
when x equal to 2, the second point is 2 comma 2 L. Here L and M are any two constants or any two different values. The next x equal to 0, x equal to 0 is nothing but our y axis. x equal to A, x equal to A is a straight line that is parallel to y axis. Now I am going to draw the line y equal to mx. We know that y equal to mx is a straight line that passes through the origin and also passes through the points 1 comma m, 2 comma 2 m etc. So this is 0 0, x equal to 1 comma m means any other point like this, 2 comma m, 3 comma m, 4 comma m. Therefore, y equal to mx is a straight line which is of the form like this. Now, let us draw another line y equal to lx. y equal to lx is another straight line that passes through the point 0, 0. Now, these two straight lines y equal to mx and y equal to lx passes through the straight line x equal to a. We have to find the point of intersection of the straight line x equal to a and y equal to mx. For that, you have to solve these two equations. The two equations are x equal to a, y equal to mx. This is first equation, this is second equation. By solving these two equations, we can find the point of intersection of these two straight lines, x equal to a and y equal to mx. When you substitute x equal to a here, this will become y equal to ma. Therefore, the point of intersection is a comma ma. Therefore, this point is A comma MA. Similarly, we have to find the point of intersection of the straight line Y equal to LX and the line X equal to A. Similarly, by solving these two equations, Y equal to LX and X equal to A, we got the point of intersection as A comma LA. So, this point is A comma LA. Now we have completed the first step. The first step is we have to draw all the four lines which are given in the limits. We have already drawn y equal to mx, y equal to lx, x equal to 0 and x equal to a. Now the second step is we have to clearly identify the region of integration. So what is the region of integration? The region of integration is nothing but the region bounded by all these four boundaries. In this diagram, there are two regions, two bounded regions. This is the first region, this is the second region. I have to identify the region of integration. Let us assume that this is the region of integration. Let us check whether this region is bounded by all the four boundaries. Now, this line is nothing but x equal to a and this is y equal to mx and this is x equal to 0. What is this? This is nothing but our x axis. What is the equation of x axis? The equation of x axis is y equal to 0. Whether y equal to 0 is given in our limits? No. Therefore, this cannot be our region of integration. Therefore, our region of integration may be this. Let us check it once again. Let us check whether this region is bounded by all the four boundaries. That is the four boundaries are nothing but these four limits. This region, let us name it as O, A and B. This region O, A, B is bounded by the line Y equal to LX and also bounded by the line Y equal to MX and the line X equal to A, also X equal to A. Therefore, this is the region of integration. So, we have completed the second step. The second step is clearly mark the region of integration. We have identified the second step that is the region of integration is OAB. This is the second step. Now, let us pass on to the next third step. The next step is we have to draw parallel lines in the region OAB. So, draw parallel lines in the region OAB. 
and you have to find a point where it changes its character. So, let us take any straight line in between these two lines. That is, the parallel lines are in the region OAB. If you take any straight line, this line lie in between Y equal to LX and Y equal to MX. Similarly, the next line also lie in between Y equal to LX and Y equal to MX. If you take this line, this line lie in between Y equal to LX and the straight line x equal to a. So, here there is a change of end points in this line. So, you have to identify where it changes its character. Now, up to the point a, the straight lines, the parallel lines lie in between y equal to lx and y equal to mx. After the point a, the lines lie in between y equal to lx and x equal to a. Therefore, this is the point where it changes its character. Now, we have identified a point in the region OAB where it changes its character. Through this point A, draw a line parallel to x axis and divide this region OAB into two parts. Let us try that. So, draw a line parallel to x axis. Now, the region OAB is divided into two parts. Let us name it as C. So, now we are having two regions. The first region is OAC and the second region is CAB. In the first region, let us change the order of integration and then in the second region CAB, let us change the order of integration. Then the procedure ends if you add these two integrals. Let us consider the first region OAC. In the region OAC, consider an elementary strip. Let us name it as PQ. Consider an elementary strip. Let us name it as PQ. Now, what is our procedure? We have to the change the order of integration. Here, what is the given order of integration? We have already mentioned that the given order of integration is first you have to integrate with respect to the given order of integration is first you have to integrate with respect to y and then integrate with respect to x. Now, you have to change the order of integration that is first you have to integrate with respect to x and then with respect to y. What is the procedure for changing this? We have to change the limits. How we can change the limits? That is you have to express y values in terms of constants and x value in terms of y. This is the procedure. Now, what is our first region? The first region is OAC. In this region, consider an elementary strip PQ. The left end of the strip P gives the lower limit of the integration. Similarly, the right end of the strip Q gives the upper limit of the integration. What is our idea? You have to express x in terms of y. Now, this is the given order of integration. I have to change it as dx dy. Therefore, this must be x limit. This must be our y limit. First, let us find the x limit. The left end of the strip P lies on the line y equal to lx. Our aim is we have to express x in terms of y. What is the equation? y equal to lx. I have to express x in terms of y. So, from this equation, we can write x equal to y by l x equal to y by l. Similarly, the right end of the strip y equal to mx lies on the line y equal to mx. We have to find x in terms of y. So, from this equation x value equal to x equal to y by m. Thus, we have expressed x in terms of y. Now, we have to express y values as constants. Let us find the range or extension of this strip in this region OAC. The lowest value of y is y equal to 0 and the highest value in this region is y equal to ma. Therefore, in this region y varies from 0 to ma. Thus, we have changed the order of integration in the first region OAC.
Now let us pass on to the next region. The second region is CAB. The second region also we have to change the order of integration. That is first you have to integrate with respect to x. Therefore, let us write dx then dy. The function is v. Here since it is dx, this is x limit. This is y limit. So, consider the second region. The second region to consider another elementary strip. Let us name it as EF. The left hand of the strip E gives the lower limit of this integration. The right hand of the strip gives the upper limit. The left hand of the strip lies on the line y equal to Lx. We have to express x in terms of y. Therefore, x value equal to x limit is equal to x equal to y by L. This is the lower limit. The right hand of the strip lies on the line. What is the name of the line? x equal to a. The right hand of the strip lies on the line x equal to a. Therefore, the upper limit is x equal to a. Now, we have to express the y values in terms of constants. What is the extension or the range of the y value? y varies from the lowest value of y is y equal to m a and the highest value of y is, y is l a in this region c a b. Therefore, y value varies from m a to l a. Therefore, the y limits are y equal to m a to l a. Now, we have changed the order of integration in these two regions. Let us take it as I1 and this integral as I2. We have completed the procedure. Therefore, the solution part is I equal to I1 plus I2. This is a given problem. The given order of integration is first you have to integrate with respect to Y and then with respect to X. Note down that this cannot be identified by using this order this can be identified only by using the limits only. Since the y limits are given in terms of x and x limits are given as constants, first you have to integrate with respect to y and then with respect to x. Now, I have to change the order of integration. So, I have obtained two regions YAC and CAB. In these two regions, change the order of integration and then add two such integrals that is a required solution for this problem. I will sum up once again. Change of order of integration can be brought in by the following steps. The first step is by using the limits, draw the lines or draw the curves. The second step is clearly mark the region of integration. The region of integration is nothing but the region bounded by all the four boundaries which are given by the limits. Then the third step is if possible find the point or find the points where it changes its character. For that you have to draw lines parallel to x axis in that region and find one or two points where it changes its character. Through that points draw lines parallel to x axis and divide that region into two or three parts. After that consider elementary strips in each regions. The left end of the strip gives the lower limit. The right end of the strip gives the upper limits. Then the extension or range of the corresponding y values gives the y limits. After changing the order of integration add all such integrals.